This warrant for Officer Todd Thomas is painting a picture of a nightmare scenario that led to him being booked on felony charges this week. Thomas charged with malfeasance, obstruction of justice, simple battery, and theft. Documents show he punched a man several times while being processed prior to being booked. According to a BRPD officer who witnessed the incident, Thomas then accessed an app to view the footage. That's when Troy Lawrence Sr. looked at it and he told him he had to get rid of it. According to our investigation, we learned that a supervisor believed that the contents on that video were violations of our policy and excessive use of force and then directed an officer to get rid of the body camera so that the evidence could not be downloaded in the docking station. At a news conference Friday, Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul told the public a concerted effort was made to then destroy evidence. A plan was then made to cover up the incident and get rid of the body camera. Based on our investigative efforts, four officers were charged. We after meeting with the district attorney's office concerning our investigative efforts, uh, our investigators went to a judge in the 19 JDC and four warrants were issued. Thursday afternoon, Deputy Chief Troy Lawrence Sr., Jesse Barcelona, and Todd Thomas appeared before Judge Will Jordan in the 19th Judicial District Court. All three were issued $30,000 bonds, remanded into custody, and brought to jail, where they posted bonds later that evening. East Baton Rouge Parish Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom said when the allegations first came to light, swift action was taken. The Brave Cave is now permanently closed. The Street Crimes Unit has been disbanded. We have actively engaged the FBI to ensure thoroughness. And as you just heard from Chief Murphy Paul, arrests have been made. That's not all. She says a culture is needing to be changed that dates back 150 years. To put it in terms that you can relate to, this is not a time for just an annual checkup. This is time for a full body MRI to diagnose and reveal any dysfunctions or wrongdoings. I owe that to the officers of the Baton Rouge Police Department and I owe it to every citizen in Baton Rouge. But diagnosing more problems is creating additional ones for others. Already, District Attorney Hiller Moore says hundreds of cases are now in jeopardy with the arrest warrants issued for four Baton Rouge police officers.